Are you tired of spending all of that money on advertising and not knowing if it's profitable? You have to have a goal that you're trying to achieve. Think of it this way. Do you think an archer could be successful if they didn't know where their target is? As an online marketing coach, when I bring this issue of conversion tracking up with businesses, the big complaint that I hear is, well, it sounds nice, but it must be really hard to set up. Here's the truth. It's super easy to do, especially in programs like Google Ads. Yes, you could have an extremely sophisticated setup, but for 99% of us, it's not necessary. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up conversion tracking inside of Google Ads if you have a form or if you have a page that you're hoping users complete an action on. We're going to be starting from scratch and the whole process will take less than 10 minutes. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been helping businesses for over 12 years manage their own digital marketing campaigns. Before we dive in, make sure you grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet to help you save thousands of dollars inside of your Google Ads account. So right now we are in my dummy account for Google Ads and to get to the conversion section, what we need to do is we need to go up to this tools and settings option right here. So we're going to select that. And then underneath this measurement uh, column right here, you'll see conversions. So we're going to select this. And you're greeted with this screen. So right now in this account, there are no conversions set up. So right here, it says no active conversion actions. And then this blue button right here that says new conversion action. This is the one that we're going to select. And you have several different options for the different conversions that you can bring into Google Ads. So you've got website, app, phone calls, or import them from Google Analytics. So for today, one of the most basic setups that we're going to do is to bring it in using this website option. And so we're going to select this. And uh, right now, the bulleted list here, it says uh, website conversions, online sales, link clicks, page views, signups. And it asks us to enter the URL for the website where we want to measure our conversion. So I'm going to input the domain for myself, which is scottredgate.com, and we're going to select scan. Now, before, before we hop into this, just so you know, there's no conversion tagging currently set up on my website. So we're actually going to go in and do that as well. And I'm going to show you how simple that can be. All right. So it just scanned the website. And it's coming up with a few recommendations here. So we've got page view, sign up, or contact. And it gives you some event details, and you can choose to accept um, the suggestions that it pops up. And so for us, for my website in particular, and maybe for your website, a lot of us have what we what we call a lead form. Um, maybe it's a contact us submission page that someone can input their information, and then you get notified, and then you can reach out to them. And so uh, that's the case for me. So I've got a uh, what we call like a, a lead form, which is my seven day online marketing jumpstart doc. And as soon as you input your email address for that doc, it sends you to a thank you page. And so what we are going to do is we are going to mark that thank you page as the conversion for Google Ads. So I'll actually show you what that thank you page looks like. So very basic, um, thank you, um, check your email inbox is the message that appears on the page. But in the code, essentially, we are going to mark this as a conversion so that we can, once we start our Google Ads campaigns, we can use that to optimize towards, okay? So what we're gonna do is on this screen, I'm actually gonna scroll down. So you could go in and you could simply accept one of these suggestions or Google even gives you the ability to edit the suggestion. I'm going to create one from scratch and I'm going to do it right here uh, where it says add event. And so for the category, they have a bunch that you can choose from contact, submit lead form, book appointment, etc. Uh, the one that I'm going to select right now is a page view. And now it says choose match type. And so this is where you define what characteristic of the URL uh, you want to pinpoint uh, for the page that we're, we're marking as a conversion. So uh, the URL is scottredgate.com slash thank dash you. And so what I can do is I can say URL contains, and then I can simply put thank dash you. 
and I can add that and you'll see it shows up right here. User lands on a page that contains thank you. So um, a user signs up for my online marketing jumpstart doc, they land on the thank you page and at that moment, Google marks it as a conversion. So I'm gonna scroll down here um, and we're gonna select save and continue. And now it says set up with a Google tag. As I said before, I have no tag currently on my website. And so I want to show you how easy this is to do uh, for most content management systems. And so I'm going to select set up the Google tag. And this is necessary for Google to know uh, the activity uh, on your website. So if a, a user lands on a particular page, this is essentially the code that pings that information back to Google ads. All right, so I've got the code right here. It says install Google tag manually and it provides the code. So I'm going to copy this. And now the content management system that I use is called Kajabi. And so inside of Kajabi, you can go into the website settings section. Um, and typically there's a section just like this um, for many of the content management systems out there. And this section is called page script. So it says add custom JavaScript that will be placed on all pages. This code will be placed in the head section of every page. So what I'm gonna simply do is paste the exact code that was included in Google Ads. And I'm gonna come down here. I'm not gonna click the delete site button. I'm gonna click save. And that code is now on my website and I can click confirm. And now it's checking tag installation. And yes, all right, so it says your tag is correctly installed on your website. You can manage your tag later under tools and settings. Okay, so I'm gonna select done. And now we are going to test this conversion. And so you see it over here where it says troubleshoot. We're gonna test to make sure that it is firing properly. So we're gonna go into troubleshoot. And it says tag assistant will open a new tab, connect your website with the tag assistant, and then test the conversion action uh, by triggering it on your website. When you're done, close the tag assistant and refresh the conversions page to see the status of your conversion action. So I'm gonna select continue. And now it's opening up the Google tag assist. And then what I do here is I input my domain name. And it's connecting this window to my website. All right. And now we're going to test it. Uh, the page view thank you conversion action. And so what I need to do is I need to actually type in slash thank dash you. All right, and it gives me the message right here. It says, page view, thank you, conversion is sending data. Beautiful. And so now I went back to the conversion section and the troubleshoot um, option is no longer there because we just verified it. And it says no recent conversions. It can take a few hours for them to populate in there, but we are all set. We just set up a basic conversion inside of Google Ads. So now that we've created and we've tested that the conversion is working, there's a couple additional things that we want to do. And so I'm going to select the conversion action. I'm going to click on it right here. And it's going to load up some of the details of the conversion so we can see the conversion name. Um, and we can also see some additional settings here. I'm going to select edit settings. And the first thing that I want to bring to your attention is here inside this goal in action optimization drop down. So when you select it, um, it gives you the option to change the conversion to a secondary con action or keep it as a primary action. Basically, the primary action is what the system is optimizing towards, whereas the secondary action is simply your ability to see conversion data inside of Google Ads, but the system isn't optimizing for it. Um, and so you could set up conversions and you could be able to see data behind that conversion but you could just have it kind of as a view only and not have the system um, like a performance max campaign attempt to optimize it. So you would select secondary if you wanted that view, but we're gonna keep it as primary because we want to create a campaign and have the system optimized towards our goal. So I'm gonna select save. We can see here in this URL, uh, that's what we had set up. Thank-U is the indicator to fire the conversion. And this is one of the, the main settings that I wanted to draw your attention to. So the value, measure the impact of your advertising by giving, conver giving conversions a value. 
So let's say you have multiple lead forms on your website or you have multiple conversions on your website. This is going to be extremely important to fill out. Um, but many times I've heard from, from businesses, well, I don't know what number to input in here. And so let me give you a very simple example of what number you could potentially input into this section. Let's say you're a plumber and on average, if you make a house call after all of your expenses, you make $100 on average, okay? You wouldn't input $100 into this section um, because typically it takes a certain number of lead form submissions or Google ads conversions to lead to that one house call. So let's say it takes two conversions from Google ads, two leads to lead to that one house call visit where you make $100. Uh, the simple math with that is you would actually take the 100 divided by two. And so a lead form submission inside of Google ads, this conversion would be worth $50. Now the math, um, it might be different for your business, depending on what type of service uh, that you offer. It might be a little bit challenging to try to subtract out all your expenses to truly figure it out. But my recommendation is to input a ballpark figure, even if you're not 100% certain. Um, give yourself um, a shot to be able to optimize um, different conversions um, at different levels. So we're going to input 50. We're going to select save and the source is the website, um, count. Do you want to count every conversion from uh, that click or interaction or do you just wanna select one? And so that's a decision that you need to make for your business. So if let's say some user comes to your website from a Google ads click and fills out multiple forms, do you wanna count every one of those actions or do you just wanna count one? Um, for this example, I'm gonna select every and I'm gonna select save. And then you've got um, some criteria for how you want to count the conversion. So you've got click through conversion window. So what how Google defines this as conversions can happen days after a person interacts with your ad. Select, select the maximum time after ad interaction that you want to count conversions. Um, and so this is your preference. Um, Google has it on a very long date range. And if you work with an agency, they're probably going to select a very long date range. And the reason for this is uh, because that will give them the maximum credit in driving conversions. Um, so look at the number of days and options that you have here and make a decision for what you feel comfortable with. Um, if you wanna give Google as little credit as possible, select something like one week. And if you wanna give them the most credit possible, select maybe the default option, which was 90 days. So we're gonna select save. And then there's a couple more options similar to that um, where it's engaged view conversion windows. So select how long to track conversions after a video engagement if you're running video ads. And then the other one is view through conversion windows. So select the maximum time after a person views your ad that you want to count view through conversions. And so you've got um, uh, one to 30 days there or you can select custom. I'm gonna leave it as the default option. And then last but not least is the attribution model. Um, and this sounds complicated, um, but really I, I typically recommend one of two options, either data-driven or last click. And here's the, the quick difference between them. Um, last click will essentially give all of the credit to the conversion that was last in the process. So in this instance, it's the last click ad. Data-driven, on the other hand, it distributes a uh, different weight um, to different the different parts of the process. And so Google defines it as this. When possible, data-driven uses your account's conversion data to calculate the actual contribution of each ad interaction across the conversion path. I used to be really heavy on using last click, um, but I found that data-driven uh, attributes most of the revenue to the last interaction or the last ad click, um, but it just gives a little bit of the weight to uh, some of the earlier parts of the process. And so I'm definitely okay with using data-driven right now, and that is the recommended option. So I'm going to select save, and then last but not least, I'm going to select done. And Congratulations, we have now set up a conversion, we've tested it, and then we've edited some of the settings to give us some uh, better value inside of Google Ads. Right, so in summary, conversion tracking is vital for any Google Ads account, and it's super easy to set up using the process that we just went through. I hope this information was helpful for you, and if you're looking for more money-saving marketing tips, visit scottredgate.com and subscribe to this channel to watch more content. Thank you so much. Take care.